what's going on people man i have not made a ghost recon video in a minute man i know a lot of people that are sub to my channel are sub probably to watch my ghost recon content the outfit videos i did i did a lot of those maybe like a year ago i'd say i kind of spammed those at times but i haven't made a ghost recon video in a minute i might in the future maybe if you guys actually want more ghost recon videos because they kind of fell off when i started making them but they kind of fell off when i started making them again this past summer but if you guys want more ghost recon Recon videos for me let me know and maybe i'll give them to y'all but i really appreciate my ghost recon fan base because y'all a lot of y'all got me to where i am now y'all are the majority of my subscribers and we're about to hit 2k subs man so but if you're not sub man hit that subscribe button because we are about to get into it man now let's talk about the current state of ghost recon now it's a good game i don't really know if i'd use the word great maybe that's a bit of an overstatement but it has really good gameplay let's say now it's a good game mods on pc can definitely help keep it alive and make it feel more new but at this point the game is kind of just dying out because it's getting old you know it's the same old sneak around a base and shoot people with a different outfit on just for something new but that's really it but what we want is something new we want a fresh experience and that right there brings us to the next ghost recon people have kind of been talking about this for two years already probably the next ghost recon is called ghost recon over i don't know if that's actually going to be the name or if that's just the project name of the game but that's all we have for now on on various news sources i went with screen rant they seem the most you know uh reputable and trustable site i'm gonna show you here what this says so ghost recon over is you know supposedly set to release sometime between 25 and 2026 now we haven't actually heard anything from ubisoft themselves so this isn't confirmed but this is a possible release window of the game and supposedly the game will be a first person shooter which i will kind of miss the third person aspect of ghost recon because i just absolutely loved customizing my character probably a lot of the time i've spent on this game a lot of the hours i have on it is just sitting in the menus customizing my character i think that's the most fun part of the game or not the most but definitely one of the most fun parts of the game but i think a lot of the game's older fans or the og fans of the game will be happy because i think this game is supposedly returning to the roots of ghost recon it's going to be something more like ghost recon future soldier i think it was called i'm too young to have played those older games i could right now but you know i'm not really interested in them but uh, i do hope they actually add me first person and third person that would be really cool so you can you know so you can switch between them and have whatever experience you want that's more freedom you know that's the great part about open world games that's why i love so much about ghost recon is the freedom to do almost whatever you want and go wherever you want that's why my probably my favorite genre of games is open world games but yes, yeah, so I really hope they do add, you know, first person and third person because I do love customizing my character, man. And I don't really see much of a point in customizing my character if it's first person. Obviously, you got your gloves, you got your sleeves, but only other people can see you. I like being able to see my own character, but, you know, a first person and third person experience would be really cool. So a little bit more about the game. Supposedly, it's going to be set in a fictional Naiman war, if that's how you say it. But the thing is, we don't know for sure if the game will actually feature open world gameplay. It could be one of those, you know, where you select the mission and you kind of you have an open world area. You have an area you can kind of explore, but there are boundaries. You know, the game doesn't really allow you to explore wherever you want, whenever you want, which, you know, that's one thing I would kind of miss. So I do hope it is still an open world game. And I know all the OGs wouldn't really care, you know, the ones that played Future Soldier and, and I don't really even know the other game names, but what I really enjoy about open world games is, like I said, is the freedom. And that's what I loved about Ghost Recon Breakpoint and Wildlands. But remember this, guys, this game is being made by a money hungry game, and that is Ubisoft. And Ubisoft never fails to disappoint us, man. I just really hope this game isn't something that Ubisoft doesn't mess up because I think Ghost Recon Breakpoint was really solid in terms of gameplay. Obviously, the story wasn't good whatsoever. I don't think the game can be worse than Breakpoint. And Breakpoint right now is it's a very solid game. It's a good game, I must say. Some people hate on it because of the story, but I enjoy the gameplay. I think it has very fun gameplay. It's just kind of gets old now and don't get me wrong ghost recon breakpoint had a pretty rocky start i gotta say until they you know changed the systems updated the game and you know and overall just kind of listened to the fans a little bit and you know made the game better and that's kind of rare for ubisoft to do so i'm glad they were able to turn breakpoint around but i really hope this isn't a game that ubisoft messes up man i don't think they will as long as they listen to the fans partially because the current state of ghost recon actually isn't bad so 
hopefully they keep the franchise alive and create a really good game man and you know i'm glad they canceled ghost recon i think it was called frontline which is supposed to be which was supposed to be a ghost recon battle royale and i'm i'm glad that was canceled because let's be real no one asked for that and i think ubisoft kind of figured that out after the responses to them announcing that game so i really am kind of glad that they're not releasing a battle royale because that would have been an absolute disaster and probably a big blow to the ghost recon franchise but yeah breakpoint is it's a great spot for ubisoft to jump off of and build upon the customization was pretty decent but i could imagine this you know ghost recon over being an awesome game if they went even more in depth ghost recon breakpoint had a great gameplay like i said but lacked a story and you know same thing with ghost recon except it's the opposite ghost recon wallace had a great story man you know taking down el sueno taking down the cartel but it lacked good tactical gameplay so the new ghost recon game i hope ubisoft is able to you know use what they learned from both games and nail both of those things and if they do that this could possibly be one of the best open world shooters ever and i hope they take their time even if they don't release it in 2025 late 20 if they do release it in late 2026, hopefully we'll have a really good open world military tactical shooter. And we don't really have, you know, a lot of those. So I'm hoping Ubisoft can capitalize on that, you know, jump on this opportunity and make one of the best open world military shooters ever. If it's open world, that is. So if it's not open world, I don't know, man. But I really hope they do make it open world because I think that kind of sets it apart from other military shooters, especially if it's going to be first person only because... I don't want another, you know, ready or not or insurgency sandstorm type of shooter because they're kind of starting to get old. It's because it seems like a lot of these devs are making the same milsim game over and over and it's it's getting old. We need something new. So let's hope Ubisoft comes through for us on Ghost Recon Over, man. If y'all enjoyed the video, man, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and I will be seeing y'all in the next one, man. Peace.